Hello, and thank you for your interest in the WaferSense Auto Gapping Sensor, or the AGS Wafer. The AGS Wafer is an accurate, repeatable, wireless chamber gapping device used in semiconductor processes such as thin film deposition, sputtering, and etch. This device allows the user to quickly achieve gap tolerances in real time, eliminating the old time-consuming legacy methods such as the crush balls. The device is available in 200 and 300 millimeter versions, this one being the 200 millimeter one. It is machined to semi-spec to be able to be handled by your tools like a production wafer. The AGS utilizes wireless one-to-one -one Bluetooth communication with its Bluetooth link box, and you will be able to interface with the device via our Cyber Spectrum software. Cyber Spectrum is free to use and unlimited installs on any Windows 7 or later computer is allowed. CyberSpectrum is also compatible with the entire WaferSense product line. This will allow for multiple and simultaneous wafer products being paired with the software for a more in-depth tool analysis, evaluation, experiment, or qualification. It is recommended that the AGS spends at least 24 hours prior to use in the fab environment. This will allow time for the capacitors to acclimate and eliminate local temperature and humidity variables. The AGS is composed of three capacitance sensors, numbered one through three. Connection, pair status, charging done, charging, and power LEDs, and tactile on and off buttons. Reports of up to 80% time savings in the chamber gapping procedure have been common amongst process engineers and technicians that utilize this device. You will need to cool down your tool and not flow any corrosive chemistries or gases while operating this device. It is capable of measurements under vacuum or atmospheric pressures of 10 to the minus 6 to 760 torr. Operating temperature is 20 to 70 degrees Celsius. Gapping accuracy is plus or minus 0 0.025 millimeters. And operation under battery power alone allows the user of up to four hours on a single battery charge. Wireless communication between the AGS and Cyber Spectrum will allow for on-the-fly gap adjustments on your PVD, CVD, and AOD tool sets. Pairing the AGS device to its limp box is quick and easy. Simply plug in your limp box to your computer and push the power button on the device itself. A steady green LED with connection status will signify that you have successfully paired the device to its link box. Now let's take a quick moment and look at Cyber Spectrum and how to operate your device from it. Once you've paired your device to your Bluetooth link box, simply open up Cyber Spectrum and hover down to the Manage Device tab. Select your AGS, and you are now able to view or unview it on your device list. Top left will have LED indicators signifying Bluetooth connection, battery power, and temperature gauge. On the top right, you'll have your review folder, which I'll explain later, and your information or about button. Let's click on that. In here, you'll find useful information about your device, such as model number, serial number, and day since last calibration. We do recommend a yearly calibration cycle to keep your device operating at factory specs. In here, you can also download any manuals that are associated with your device. Before you operate your AGS, simply uh, click on the settings, which is your gear icon, and I'll give you a drop-down list that is very user-friendly and intuitive to set up your device prior to use. Pre-record length leave at zero, record for one hour or however long your experiment might be, and always keep your record to CSV data toggled to on. CyberSpectrum will automatically write to a Excel a CSV and a CyberSpectrum file.
your output folder is what you will be writing to. I recommend you using the desktop to easily find your data. Gap settings, available measurement units, gap offsets, which I recommend not to, not to have any, and display orientation, which will move your notch. Show five point data will more accurately fine tune your chamber by color coding five points of measurement instead of your original three. And lastly, your station information. Here you can input operator, tool, station, or any comments you may want to include in your data. Lastly, you are ready to set your gap tolerances. This will be done in your go no go bell icon on your top right. And you will have the ability to accurately gap to plus or minus 0 0.025 millimeters and also have all three measurements or gap targets the same or different. You are now ready to record data. This can be done with your record button on the left. And you can add any markers or annotation marks during your entire test run as you'd like. This would also show up on your recorded data. I am now going to simulate gapping a chamber. And you will notice that the red go no go bell will be turning green when I'm within parameters. Green for go or intolerance, and red for no go or out of tolerances. Now let's see what file you just recorded or the data you gathered by opening your AGS file. Let's collapse the live view of the AGS device. And this is your review file. This is the data we just recorded. You can hover over the time and seconds chart and it'll give you the measurements of every gap or points at any point in time during your test. The second way you can analyze data is by looking at your CSV file. From here, you can select any kind of uh, measurements you had before with timestamps on the left and produce graphs out of it or whatever analysis you may want. Thank you for taking this time and learning about the AGS or the auto gapping sensor. Have a good day.